prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? It's Manchester City and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Ruben Dias plays alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Julian Alvarez. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Kylian Mbappe plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And they're underway now in the Champions League final we're about to find out which team is the best in Europe Holland Vinicius Junior Barca maintain possession advantage to play it in Not to deal with the threat Holland. Oh, good save. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking it. Silva and having a goal well after that attempt gobbled up by the keeper Vinicius Junior 
Now with Messi. Holland. Messi. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. Lionel Messi. Fins in the centre. And Bellingham. He's lost possession. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. <laughs> Walker. And it's Ruben Diaz. Fabdiol. Foden. De Bruyne now. Grealish. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. away by Ronaldo the brain it can he find the angle the crowd encouraging him to take it on well no danger now Now with Silva. Well, they continue that push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. The pressure, real chance. Oh, the equaliser. Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Silva. And Grealish. Nicely timed tackle. And he has options available. at pace potential danger and a chance to whip it in here took a really smart piece of defending to stop them aware of the threat solving the problem oh he looks threatening what they wanted well 
just look at this dribble from Grealish. He goes past the defender so easily, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Advantage, Barcelona. Well, she wanted to let the play flow, but in the end decided that that wasn't possible. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. Well, Pep can't believe that decision. He's not happy at all, is he? Just look at his body language. Jude Bellingham read that pass all the way cutting it out twenty minutes remaining Christensen and City have possession once more Now, options are plenty. Offensive Brazilians to shut them down. Kevin De Bruyne. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, they know they need to stop him. And Bernardo Silva has it. It's offside, and perhaps he should have been a bit more alert. And maybe a little bit more aware in the box. He was just too static. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Longley. Here's Ronaldo. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Vinicius Junior. And taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. It's with Vinicius Junior. dealt with that ball comfortably and there it is full time Manchester City Champions League winners well just look at the emotions out there joy and relief on one side despair and heartache on the other but we've got the right winners here they fully deserved it on the night for these players well it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And that's exactly what they're doing over towards their supporters to say thank you a collective effort always on these occasions well what more can you say they are the best team in europe
Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff.